Okay, and now that you've had an opportunity to watch the entire process, let's take a minute to review. If you watched how he moved from left to right, he was able to remove the carts from all the areas and used a flashlight to ensure that he had visibility. A lot of real positives here. However, sometimes when we're working, especially in today's age, we can get distracted. Did you notice anything in this particular area? Maybe when he was on his phone. So, let's go ahead and double check that area. No issues there. However, as we remove the second cart, we can easily identify a prohibitive item. This is a test. These types of items will often be left by the TSA in order to test our adherence to the system and the process and prevent somebody from possibly leaving something that's much more serious. So, step one, always ensure that you follow the process from beginning to end. And obviously you can get distracted, but it's important that you stay focused. Additionally, as we move through this part of the aircraft, if you noticed the jump seat. When we walked through this process prior before, we were to lift up the seat. So if we were to follow that process completely, we would notice a second item. Again, this is done as a test, but it's an important test. Let's continue. Come with me.